UFC Community Reacts Alexander Volkanovsky vs. Islam Makachev UFC 284 Hi MMA fans and welcome to another MMA fighting video. This fight was a proper display of a high-level contest, and not only did these two warriors meet the expectations, but they exceeded it. Volkanovsky looked great on the ground, Makachev looked great in the stand-up, and both showed they could go out of their comfort zones. We knew that Makachev would probably take Volkanovsky down, but we didn't know if Volk could back up to his feet. As a surprise to some people, the Australian fighter could scramble and reverse to his feet, and he did that easier than we could expect. Makachev, on the other hand, was questionable whether he could withstand Volk's pressure on the feet, but he proved to the world that he was not only a superior wrestler, but an elite striker as well. He landed some beautiful hooks while intercepting Volk's attacks, landed elbows and knees, and even caught Alex with some middle and high kicks. All things aside, both fighters showed big hearts and eagerness to win the contest, but at the end of the day, it was Islam Makachev who had his hands raised. That decision did not go unnoticed and caused mixed reactions from the MMA community. While some believed that Islam did enough to edge Volkanovsky on the scorecards, others thought this decision was a robbery. We will look at how the UFC community reacted to this fight, but before that, we will give a short analysis to understand why the MMA world reacted that way. But before that, please make sure to like and subscribe because it helps our channel grow. A closer look! One thing both fighters have in common that distinguishes them from the others is their cardio. Both Volkanovsky and Makachev are known to have incredible cardio, stamina, and endurance. And often they use that factor to their advantage, outwearing and outfighting their opponents. However, this was the first time we saw Islam Makachev being tired at the later rounds and even looking at the clock to see how much time was left of the round. On the other hand, Volk displayed a level of cardio that could not be matched by any other fighter on the roster. As the fight went on, he was the fresher fighter in the later rounds, and by Makachev's face expression in the last two rounds, we could see that the Russian was visibly tired. However, Islam proved to have a very high fighting IQ, and he showed that in the fourth round. Just when Volk started to have his moments and gather his confidence, Makachev used a perfect opportunity to duck under and shoot for a takedown early in the round. Although he was more tired than Volk, he managed to take that sound away from the Australian. And that was probably the crucial moment that earned him the victory. On the other hand, Alex could not only defend most of Islam's takedowns, but how he could back up to his feet and even reverse the positions in his favor is genuinely remarkable. I can't recall when was the last time that someone held Makachev in a clinch against the cage. The Russian could always use his judo and sambo throws and anyone down from a clinch position. But against Volkanovsky, he struggled to do so and Volk even managed to attempt a takedown on his own, almost taking the Russian down from the clinch position. Islam Makachev proved to be a way better striker than anyone is giving him credit for. Training under coach Javier Mendez for years significantly improved Islam's stand-up, and he showed that in the Volkanovsky fight. He was outstriking the Australian almost half of the fight and even wobbled him a few times. Islam has an excellent lead hook that he uses as a counter-strike to the opponent's attacks. Whenever Volk started to throw a combination trying to close the distance, Islam would intercept that attack with a beautiful hook that would make the Australian think twice before attacking that way again. Makachev also found success from the tie clinch using his deadly knees that could visibly slow Volk down whenever they landed on his body. On the other hand, Volkanovsky displayed an incredible ability to defend himself from submissions from bad positions. The Russian took Volk's back several times, but he couldn't do anything from that position, and he couldn't go for submission because he was too busy defending Alex's punches thrown at him. This fight was very close and could go either way. Makachev claimed the victory, but many fans believed Volkanovsky did enough to edge the Russian on the scorecards. The UFC community reacts. The MMA world could not stay silent, and they were all eager to share their opinions, storming Twitter with their thoughts. Here is how they reacted. If you like our video so far, please press the like button. Yeah, right. Islam got his ass whooped. Nate Diaz. Spoiler alert. Islam won by winning more rounds than his opponent, Chael Sonnen. Wow, what an end. Volk wins the last round decisively. Was it enough? Holy smokes, this is wild stuff. Regardless of what happens here, Volk's stock goes up. Ariel Helwani. Both these guys are pound for pound, but 4-0 Islam for me. Fans are never satisfied first Islam wrestles too much, now he wins the striking and they're still not happy lol. Bilal Muhammad. Pound for pound wafflers, Conor McGregor. That was a bad scorecard. 3-2 Volk lost nothing tonight. He fought better than anyone thought he could. He is as good as anyone at any weight in the world. 
Great fight overall, Daniel Cormier. Respect Makachev MMA, Alex Volkanovsky. That was one of the most competitive fights in the history of the sport. Henry Sejudo, what a big round for Volkanovsky. The highest of levels in that right hand that dropped Islam was perfectly timed. I still think Islam wins this, but what a fight. Algerman Sterling, fight of the year, FSFS. Terence McKinney, what a fucking fight, Brian Ortega. Volk and Islam put on a hell of a fight, Derek Brunson. This fight is crazy, Marvin Vittori. What a fight, that was incredible. Volk is all heart. Interested to see how these judges scored this. Michael Chiesa, would love to see this fight again. Cody Garbrandt, great high-level fight. Rafael Fisiev, it's so close. Oh my God, Casey O'Neill. Goddamn, Volk is a G for life. Angela Hill, hash UFC 284. What a round for Alex Volkanovsky, UFC. Joanna Yedrzejczyk. Heroic effort, respect to the champ, Alex Volkanovsky, hash UFC 284, Andre Feely. Wow, 3-2 Volk, Sadiq Yusuf. Congrats, Alex Volkanovsky, Nate Diaz. Lady and gents, we have a new P4P king. Congrats to Makachev MMA, Alexander Recchi. I thought Volk won, Cheeto Vera. So mad I can't be in front of a TV to see this right now. Just looking at tweets, sounds an awesome main event. Chris Weidman. Fight lived up to a super fight, Cody Garbrandt. I'd hate to be a judge. What a fight. Henry Tejudo. Wow, what a fight. Islam and Volk. Brad Tavares. Volk is still P4P number two. That was 40 so far. Bilal Muhammad. Who did y'all think took it? I thought third and fifth went to Volk and there were a few close rounds. Didn't think he'd take it. Bit wouldn't be surprised if he did. Angela Hill. As you can see, this fight was very close and caused mixed opinions. But all fighters agree that this was a legendary high-level fight that will be remembered for years to come. To end this, let's look at the controversial rounds and see if the judges got this right. Who really won? The scoring system used in the UFC is based on three criteria. Effective striking and grappling, effective aggressiveness, and octagon control. Judging by these criteria, Makachev won. But let's go round after round to see if they got it right. In the first round, both fighters studied each other, respecting each other's skills, and none of them was ready to start aggressively and do something wild. Makachev took the center of the octagon, trying to close the distance on Volk and get him against the cage where he could use his judo credentials and take him down. Alex threw a great left punch that landed clean. Although this did not wobble the Russian, it clearly got his attention. As the second half of the round approached in a heated exchange, Islam threw an excellent combination on his own catching Volkanovsky clean, forcing him to retreat against the cage. This is where Makachev got the Australian in a clinch position and dragged him down with a body lock technique. Although Volk defended well, the Russian managed to take his back and had several submission attempts, especially the neck crank technique. Alex defended those submission attempts well, which is how the round ended. All judges gave this round to Makachev, and it was rightfully so. The other round that all three referees agreed on was the fifth. Volk was the fresher fighter in this round defending all Islam's takedowns while reversing positions. However, by the end of the round, Volk had his big moment, catching Makachev with a combination that knocked him down. This is where the Australian fighter of Macedonian origin took over and dominated Islam with ground and pound at the last minute of the fight. All three judges gave this round to Volkanovski, which was the right call. The middle rounds are the ones people discuss, and we will start with the second. Volkanovski managed to land a big left overhand that dropped Makachev down. This significant moment was quickly neutralized as Makachev went for a single leg takedown. Volk managed to defend the takedown, but shortly after, Islam caught the Australian in a tie clinch from where he landed a big knee to the body that got Volk's attention. Alex, led by his confidence from the knockdown he had just scored, went wildly after Islam, throwing big overhands, but this time the Russian was ready, and he intercepted him with right hooks that landed clean. In one such exchange, Islam caught Volk with a big left straight that wobbled the Australian and he would be forced to retread for a moment. Islam sensed that and went after Alex, throwing great combinations on his own, but Volk gathered himself together and neutralized those attacks by throwing combinations on his own. Then, Islam threw an uppercut that landed clean on Volk's face and followed that with a knee to the body and both fighters ended in a clinch position against the cage. In this round, the number of strikes was evenly matched. Islam had a few heavier strikes than Volk, but Volk, on the other hand, scored a knockdown. Judging by the scoring criteria, damage trumps everything, and by achieving a knockdown, Volk should have won that round. However, one could say that Islam landed more heavier strikes, 
arguing that those strikes outscore the knockdown. But that's a matter of perspective. The third round was evenly matched by the number of punches thrown. However, the judges gave this round to Makachev, and here is why. Although Volkanovsky had a good moment on himself, outbalancing the Russian with a big leg kick, Islam, on the other hand, threw more heavy and medium shots that caused way more damage. Islam threw a beautifully timed middle kick on Volk's body and was followed with a left hook that landed clean on Volk's chin. Although Russian scored a takedown, Alex was able to get up to his feet quickly, but the heaviest strike that Islam scored in that round was the lead elbow. As Alex was charging forward, Makachev intercepted that attack with a nasty elbow that clearly did the damage. The third round undoubtedly belongs to Makachev, and judging by this analysis, it all comes to who really won the fourth. Makachev scored an early takedown in the fourth round and took Volks back by getting him into a body triangle. Although Islam had the dominant position where he could attack Alex with submissions, the Australian fighter kept punching Islam in the face, scoring way more strikes than him. On the other hand, Islam got himself in a position that could potentially end the fight. Judging by the scoring criteria, damage trumps everything, and Alex was doing more damage by punching Islam in the face. However, those punches were not significant strikes, and one could argue that they didn't cause much damage. Islam, on the other hand, scored a takedown, and holding Alex in such a position could potentially end the fight at any moment. The other aspect of the scoring criteria says that effective grappling that could potentially end the fight via submission is as important as significant striking. If someone argues that Alex won that round since he did more damage with his strikes, one could also argue that the effective grappling of Islam that could end the fight mattered more. This is the problem with the 10 ish 2 9 scoring system. In Pride FC, they scored the bout as a whole, and if this fight was judged by Pride rules, they could have scored this fight a draw, and that would most probably lead to an immediate rematch. And what do you guys think? Do you agree with the judge's decision? Leave your thoughts in the comments, and if you like to watch more content like this, please make sure to like and subscribe.